So, these are more rides that killed. New Texas Giant in Arlington, Texas is Six Flags. And a woman who may or may not have been overweight, according to the warning signs, was in the third cart back, and during the ride, somehow fell off 75 feet to her death. Next up, 2001, we have the Perilous Plunge. This is unfortunately another case of where they claim the woman was overweight. Clocking in at 300 pounds, she ended up falling out of the ride and also died. Her attorney argued that the wounds on her legs would indicate that she was strapped in properly, but unfortunately, something occurred that was tragic. After doing a series of these videos, it would indicate to me that if you are a heavier set person, do not trust the teenagers behind the counter to do their job right. The thrill of falling is not worth it, because if it seems unsafe, it probably is. All right, so on to the next one. This is this little gondola rides, you know, they run around on the little cable with the little hook on them, right? Well, in 1978 at Six Flags, on a ride called Eagle's Flight, a newlywed couple thought it would be a great idea to, to rock it back and forth. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It's only a little hook holding the thing. Well, what went wrong was 